guys, it's Jessica, and I wanted to do my makeup collection video, so, because I'm sure some of you are curious, and if you're not, they're fun to do, and I want you guys to be able to tell me what products you want me to feature or want me to do a review on, and I can get those up for you, um, mostly so you guys can request videos, and you don't have to request a beauty-related video. If you don't want a beauty-related beauty video, you can request any video down below, and I will get those to you. Um, but, yeah, so this is mostly for you guys. So, uh, yeah, let's get started, okay? Um, this is where the bulk of it is stored. I have two candles lit. One is a Glade um, candle, and I this is awesome with a possum. I freaking love this. And um, so let's start on this side. This is my Nivea lotion that I use. On top we have Ouch. A penguin because I got this for Jay for Christmas last year and he kept forgetting to take it home so it kind of moved with us and it was unpacked sooner than later so that's why there is a Christmas object up here if you were at all wondering and then here is a Hello Kitty palette which I will show you I'm going to try to show you guys stuff as thoroughly as I can so that you know what you guys want to review so this Hello Kitty has a blue a peachy tan, a yellowy tan, and a brown on top. And then on the bottom, it has a royal purple, I would call it a royal purple at least, a white, a light pink, and a black. And there it is. It's pretty cute. Um, and then up here, I have my Bath & Body Works lotion stack, um, Japanese Cherry Blossom body spray on top. And then Japanese Cherry Blossom Lotion and Japanese Cherry Blossom White Citrus. And then on here, I have a cute little kitty. Um, this is Katy Perry's Purr Perfume. And I just think, I thought it was cute. That's why I bought it. And I also like the scent. Then we have a Bath & Body Works thing on this. So in this first drawer, we have my lip liners and my eyeliners lip liners are on this side i have milani and off and off brand and then for eyeliners i have elf um wet and wild icing and ulta and jordana so and then way in the back there's a pencil sharpener right there it's an eye pencil sharpener to be specific. And then in the next drawer, I have all of my mascaras. I have Wet n Wild, Elf, um, Elf Brow and Lash Gel Sally, Beauty Supply, uh, Rimmel, CoverGirl, and Maybelline are all in here. And Ulta as well. And then I have a little single eyeshadow from L'Oreal and a single eyeshadow from CoverGirl in there. And then this is my lip drawer. I have Revlon, Wet n Wild, um, Sally Girl, the Sally Beauty Supply line. Um, some lip glosses are back here, Milani. Um, yeah, Revlon, I have Maybelline too as well, so... Yeah, and I also have Ulta. Ignore that. I also have Ulta in there, too. I knew that was going to happen. And then on the very... Oh, I just showed you that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And then down here on the very bottom, you can see there's stuff in there. And this is stuff that I'm not currently wearing that is more for the summer and spring seasons. And then here's another candle from Kohl's. Um, I'm going to put it next to my Glade one, and it was like $7. Uh, I love the scent of this one as well. It smells very fall, and it's called Fall Festival, if you wanted to know. And then I have a cow piggy bank right here, which is cute and lives here now. That's where I put him recently, so he might move, but um, yeah. And then um, in this container right here I have all of my eyeliners and okay so I have an Urban Decay eye primer and I have elf eye primer and a L'Oreal eye primer and then for eye liquid eyeliners I have 
e.l.f. and l'oreal and um la colors so if you want any reviews on that stuff and for eye primers i have elf and urban decay and l'oreal so if you want any reviews on there then let me know and then in the brushes container which i made which i will probably do a tutorial on this if you guys want it and maybe even if you guys don't want it i don't know um it's kind of hard for me to do so i have to have someone film it for me which is kind of difficult process you know so anyways this is brushes and in here i have forever 21 brand revlon elf urban decay sona kashuk and um walmart brand and eco tool so yeah. and then in this last little ceramics dealie i have all of my all over face primers and just concealers and that kind of stuff so yeah and then right here is just a all may eye makeup remover I use this to remove swatches because um, it actually hurts my eyes so why it's called an eye makeup remover I will never know because it hurts my eyes but you know whatever okay so up here we have my Rimmel lipsticks I think I have one more but I don't know where it is and a Revlon one and then we have some hand sanitizers from Bath and Body Works and a Rimmel Match Perfect Foundation. Then we have a um, eyeshadow from Victoria's Secret from a long time ago, a Nivea chapstick, a um, Sugar Fresh, um, a, a Fresh Cosmetics Sugar Rose chapstick, a kabuki brush from, I think, Revlon, and then a Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Balm Stain in the color Adore, and then back here is my e.l.f. like lots of colors palette. <laughs> in here we have my contacts, and we have a heel buffer thing, and we have a mirror, and we have a cuticle cream, and we have a... Um, Lush Lip Scrub. I haven't used this yet. That's why it's there because I should remember to use it. And then in here we have my face kind of products. Um, up in the front we have NYC's bronzer. Underneath that we have the e.l.f. duo blush and bronzer. And then we have a, um, blush from Kat Von D. Everlasting Shaper blush. And then underneath that is a Maybelline blush. And then we have a eyebrow kit. And underneath that are all of my, well, some of my e.l.f. all over color sticks that I have depotted. And an NYC all over face powder. And then in this drawer we just have lotions and uh, a heat humidity gel a mirror and a body butter because it was empty and I wanted to fill it for the sake of filling it. <laughs> and then up at the top in this container we have the NYX, we have the NYX Nude on Nude which you can tell broke but um, in here we have shadows up top. It's supposed to be comparable to the Naked palette, I believe, in a small little mirror. And then in this drawer compartment, so the bottom slides open and you have your lip colors, so that's kind of what it looks like. And the mirror just fell off. It broke um, when I was at the airport. I hung my backpack on one of those hooks on the back of the bathroom door, you know what I mean? And um, it fell and this broke and then also in here I have a LA Colors palette and two other LA Colors palettes a blue one and a pink one and then I have Comfort Zone and Petal Pusher from Wet n Wild and then I have Urban Decay Skull Shadow Box which looks like this and then I have this shadow box, which I believe is the 15th anniversary one, but correct me if I'm wrong down below. And my mom and I share that one. And then this one is an e.l.f. to-go palette right here. 
and it's the marbled one. And this one is just a cheap one from Walgreens that actually these colors work really well if you have them wet. It's from Giordano um, Colors. And then I just have my tweezers on the side. And then up there is a washcloth. And then in this first drawer, we have all of my e.l.f. jumbo sticks and my cream e.l.f. Um, oh, e.l.f. jumbo sticks and then e.l.f. shadow stick. And then all of my cream e.l.f. eyeshadows because I use those as like a base. And then in the second drawer, I have all of my fancier shadows. I have my Sephora Prisma shadows, which look like that. And I have the glitter elf ones, and I have a one that's like the Prisma Chrome down there. I don't know if you can see the packaging. Let me see. Um, like right there. It's from Sally Beauty Supply. And then I have a LA Colors Loose Pigment, and a couple Urban Decay singles, an Ulta Shimmer thing, a couple Sally Girl Sample. Ugh, singles and an NYC um, duo. And then in this last drawer, I have my elf quads, all of my elf quads from the essential line. And then I have my Wet n Wild trios. And then I have my elf duos and my Ulta quad. So, yeah. That's it for the makeup that I have stored. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really like filming videos for you guys, um, but it would really help me a lot if you guys would put requests down below for videos that I could do because I, um, I want my channel to be for you guys. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your suggestions down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. And just so you know, I always reply to every comment or I try my hardest to do so. And I reply to messages. I am pretty good at replying. There is one person I'm supposed to mention on my channel, but because I don't have Wi-Fi, um, I can't like look her up. But she's hilarious and um, I believe her channel... I don't remember what her channel is called, but um, I will mention her soon. So if you watch my videos, um, I'll mention you soon, I promise. There's a couple people I want to mention. Just a shout out to for subscribing to me. And yeah, I want to do that probably weekly is just mention good, like awesome people. So yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please remember to add me on Facebook or email me at want 92 at gmail.com. Or you can always, um, or you can always, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.